Hello, this is Benjamin Kepner of Global Social Media Marketing, and today we are going to be talking about how to generate massive sales for your e-commerce business with YouTube ads. This is a presentation that I created for a conference, and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. So I'll see you in there to learn how to explode those sales in 2021 with YouTube ads. Welcome all attendees to the 2021 Global Internet of Things RFID Cloud and Drone Summit, as well as the 2021 Global ICT and Emerging Technology Summit. My name is Benjamin Kepner. I'm going to be the featured speaker for this presentation today. And I do want to say that I was unable to present this live on a webinar, but I've decided to go ahead and record this to make sure that any attendees that were looking for this presentation can still see it. We're going to go ahead and present how to create a YouTube ad sales funnel for e-commerce. So let's go ahead and jump in. So my name is Benjamin Kepner. I'm the CEO of Global Social Media Marketing. You can see a number of the different YouTube ads credentials that I have on the right hand side from ebooks that I've authored to building a YouTube department, working over 40 different industries, going through training from some of the best YouTubers out there like Sean Cannell and Tom Breeze, generating tons of training videos. I'm also a Google for Education certified trainer and instructor with the Digital Workshop Center. And I have over 10 years of experience creating YouTube videos, as well as generating over $200,000 alone in YouTube ad sales in 2020. So I'll go ahead and show you an example of a YouTube ad that has converted some sales for us. And I think it gives a really good introduction of my company at Global Social Media Marketing and what we do. Hello, Benjamin Kepner of Global Social Media Marketing here. We are a marketing and education technology company that teaches the world how to connect with their communities in new ways. My story began after graduating from the University of Georgia. I traveled around the world growing GSMM and have planted the company roots in downtown Denver, Colorado. What sets us apart from other experts is our multilingual team with 20 digital marketing certifications whose primary services include social media marketing, education technology training, and international business expansion. We drive website traffic, purchases, and develop leads with things such as WordPress, SEO, Google and Facebook ads, as well as YouTube videos. We empower you to achieve your business or education goals and connect with your community from our experiences with Google for Education Certified Trainer presentations and our work with 20 industries across the globe. Explore new horizons and contact us today. Right, so very professional looking video, does a great job of telling more about our company and tells it very concisely, right? This was a YouTube ad that we created for just one minute and it was able to generate as hundreds of leads as well as sales. So if you're looking for maybe a generic YouTube ad company video, that would be a great example. And you can find that on our YouTube channel at Global Social Media Marketing. So if you stick around for this entire presentation, at the end of this presentation, you'll be able to get access to our free YouTube marketing course. And all you got to do to email me is just email me, right? So I'll have my email at the end of this presentation. So stick around and we'll give you access to our YouTube marketing course. So you can have all the tools and tips that you need, as well as the opportunity to book a strategy call with me to see how we can help your business grow its sales with YouTube ads in 2021. So I wanted to show a quick example of a client that we had huge success with last year. This is an example of one e-commerce client that spent over $80,000 with us over a seven month period on 2020, was able to generate over 18,000 leads that converted $165,000 in revenue guys, right? So I'm sure there's some people hopefully out there watching this video saying, I want to spend $80,000 and get double my return on investment. Wouldn't we all, wouldn't we all love to have 18,000 leads that are being generated for people actually searching for our product or service? And this was all done in 2020. So I'm not gonna use any excuses. I'm not gonna say that things are not possible with YouTube in a certain environment. This proves that no matter what, if you know what you're doing on YouTube, it has huge potential, guys. So to start, YouTube is kind of like the new television, right? Television came about, it was black and white, we had radio, it went color, then we kind of 
saw YouTube come in and now we're in this whole world of streaming and everything, right? So the media industry has shifted. You can see that 65% of people now are using YouTube to help them solve a problem. It's predicted that by 2025, 50% of viewers under 32 won't even subscribe to paid television anymore, guys. TV does less because People are not consuming as much TV now, right? Six out of 10 people actually prefer to watch videos online. And as TV declines, internet streaming continues to explode, right? Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, the list goes on and on. So I wanted to show an example of the most successful YouTube ad of 2020, because I definitely want to show, again, some awesome examples of YouTube ads that generated hundreds of thousands of dollars in e-commerce. And of course, many of you sports fans out there, I know for me, Nike, just do it. Great tagline, always been a dominant force in the, in the sports realm and it is is a really great brand that I look to as one of the most innovative marketing brands that's also realized that now e-commerce is now 30% of their sales guys. And we're talking about a store or a brand that has been around for decades and generally had those malls or there's brick and mortar stores or even maybe getting into those Nike outlet stores. I know I would always get my fresh dunks that way. And we can see that, you know, 2020 just kind of like exploded for them in e-commerce. They actually surpassed 82% increase in 2020 Q4 and actually crushed their e-commerce goals they had for the next three years just in last year, guys. Look at this video. This video had in eight months almost 120 million views. Now tell me how much money would that cost you to have that many people on television, right? And so there's some really good examples I'll point to here on the left-hand side of why this ad works without kind of spoiling who is in this or whatnot. All I'm gonna say is that I'm really happy to show that one of the best YouTube ads of 2020 is actually one of my heroes and favorite athletes. I hope to meet him one day. I know my father and I think the world of this man. His name is LeBron James. He is the king, and now he is the king of YouTube with Nike. So let's go ahead and watch this emotional YouTube ad. That was the number one ad, according to Google, last year. No one's ever come back from 3-1. Agonizing defeat. Down five. We've all been underestimated and counted out. In those moments, we felt like it was over. But it's when we're given no chance that we somehow found that last bit of strength to keep fighting. And then we did what no one thought we could, not even ourselves. We came back from the impossible. From being broken. We found a way when it seemed hopeless. We came back when we should have been long forgotten. And we did it time and time again. Right now, we're fighting for something much bigger than a win, a championship. But if we learn anything from sports, is that no matter how far down we may be, we are never too far down to come back. Ooh, man, guys, that just gives me chills and emotions. It gets me all teary-eyed thinking about how great of a story that is. There's so many things going on in that. So I wanted to just point out some examples of why was that successful ad, from my opinion, right? It's engaging and it's emotional, right? The music, it's inspiring. It's got this message of resilience and positive. As we all know, 2020 was a really tough year. Also, that first five seconds, right? It hooks you in, kind of saying, you know, never happened in history, you know, coming back down 3-1 as LeBron goes and takes the Cavs to the destiny, right? So that was so powerful of kind of showing LeBron's venture back to Cleveland after winning in Miami, winning one for his hometown, just, an, you know, that kid out of Akron, Ohio, right? If you've seen him before. It was also short and sweet, guys. That video, roughly about a minute and a half, 
It actually had movement with over 72 sequences and it also humanized Nike's brand. It wasn't about showing the shoes, showing the jersey, showing the t-shirts. It was about showing real life athletes that were in their kind of training and preparing for the year as well as those famous athletes, right? So we also know in YouTube ads, if you can use a celebrity, people can associate with celebrities, almost like how people can associate with characters in a story. Funny enough, sometimes in great storytelling, it's not always just about the story, but it's about the characters that we can kind of see ourselves are or that we can relate to, right? So we saw over 24 different types of sports in that too. So they didn't just focus on the NBA, they focused on many other types of sports. And, you know, all of those things together combined with also having those subtitles there. Maybe there's a lot of people that, you know, for whatever reason, they're watching this and English isn't their first language. Or maybe for those people that are, you know, for whatever reason, not able to actually hear the audio, right? They have that impairment. They can they can read the text. So that's another big thing, too, is seeing that, right? And, and what they do, finally, guys, is they don't start with showing necessarily a brand logo. They actually show that at the end and focus showing on showing humans. So it's also found, right, that showing humans in your ads is another great way to kind of drive that engagement. And I mean, you know, 120 million views. I think we get the point. The king has done his job. He has won the NBA championship and also created the most successful YouTube ad as the athlete of the year. So we'll go ahead and move on. But much love to LeBron and Nike for creating that outstanding YouTube ad in 2020. No one's ever come back from 3-1. Okay, so YouTube by the numbers in 2020. These are the most recent numbers that we have researched per a number of different credible YouTube and Google articles. And we saw that there was actually almost 18 billion is what we are projecting based on our research from 2020 and ad revenue, guys. That's not millions, that's with a B, as in Benjamin's in the billion, 17.5 billion in ad revenue. Also, that's five plus billion videos watched daily. That's also two billion logged monthly users. Actually, the average person is also watching about 40 minutes with 80% of those people buying products when they watch those videos. And keep in mind, guys, YouTube, while it is a social media channel, it's also the number two search engine in the world, as well as 73% of adults in the United States alone are using YouTube. And if you don't think that there is kind of a destiny of figuring this stuff out, that's what we're going to be explaining in this presentation. Funny enough, that's me kind of solving the matrix. I am the one to hopefully help you guys to solve this complex algorithm of YouTube. YouTube ads keep growing. They have grown year over year over year. I know that I didn't even really remember seeing YouTube ads, and now there's all different types of ads. We have generally found there are two types of ads that are helping to generate leads and sales from 2020. And those two types of ads are in-stream ads as well as discovery ads, right? So in-stream ads are skippable ads appearing on before the video and discovery ads are when they are kind of being suggested as sponsored video on the top or right-hand side of the sidebar. We also saw that there were a number of additions from vertical video ads to banner ads, and now there's actually even YouTube lead ads that allow you to collect leads on the platform so that you don't ever have to lead. If you don't have a website, no problem. Create a YouTube video and you can collect leads that way that go into your email inbox. If you're considering waiting on making videos because your website hasn't been built, guess what guys? YouTube is the number two most visited website in the world and people are consuming video more than ever. So actually I would say, if you're worried about starting with your website first, I should actually ask you be asking the question, why are you not taking advantage of the number two most visited website in the world? You're actually gonna have a better opportunity to get your brand found and sell your services on YouTube than you ever would have on your website. You're just probably never gonna pass YouTube. So accept that reality and understand that people go to YouTube to solve their problems. If you can be on that platform that provides that solution, 
you may have the golden ticket to growing your business exponentially. There are easy ways to create ads as well too. We don't have to be a professional video production company. We don't have to be a major television network. We can now use the new YouTube video builder. That will be something that I will be showing later on in this year. We started using that. Your iPhone too, I know there's tons of iPhone, Apple fans out there. They now shoot 4K video, guys. They, you weren't able to shoot 4K video on DLSR cameras probably about five or 10 years ago when I was in the DSLR camera space and I was learning photography and videography. Your phone shoots just as good. I know that my new iPhone 12 Pro even shoots better than some of the best cameras on the market and could produce movie level cinematography, guys. Also, maybe not, you know, you're not so savvy with your, your computer or some of these, you know, free tools. Zoom obviously exploded last year everyone's zooming and google meeting they have recording features guys if you're saying you can't make a video because you don't have a phone or you don't know if you can go outside based on current events do it in your home every computer that's being produced now now has a webcam and zoom has that feature to even go live stream from Zoom onto YouTube. Finally, if you have a screen recorder outside of maybe Zoom, we use Screencastify. It is free. If you're in the education space and you're a teacher, it's great to be there too. They do have a premium feature as well, and it's not that costly, guys. So really easy ways to make video ads. You don't even need to have any kind of film or editing background. There's so many great tools out there. And honestly, some of the videos that we've made on our ads have been produced through our smartphones and they're doing just as well as some of the other videos that we've created professionally. So what questions should I answer? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if people are going to YouTube to solve their problem, generally they are gonna be asking specific questions. So this is something that I've been learning through the Video Ranking Academy with Sean Cannell at Think Media. Shout out to those guys. I'll be giving out a number of different things that I've learned from him in the Video Ranking Academy. I'm really excited about being in that. If you haven't heard about the Video Ranking Academy, we'll definitely make sure to link in the description, as well as I will be talking about the other course that I took with Tom Breeze and mentioning him as a shout out as well. I just know that those guys are crushing me on YouTube. And one of the things that Sean talks about is having frequently asked questions questions as video topics, right? If you can create a video that's the answer to a question or that it's ultra specific from research or questions from your customers or your audience, boom, that's stuff that people want to know and it provides value without you having to try to sell something. You're actually just giving value first, letting people like and know you and trust you before they're going to buy your product or service. That's marketing 101. So YouTube. People are looking for solutions to their problem, as we've mentioned on YouTube, by searching for how to do something or watching some of their competitor videos, maybe to be entertained in these micro moments. So these are kind of the four buckets that I've seen. This is something that was also brought through the Tom Breeze course, so shout out to him. We've kind of bucketed into these four types of things, right? I either want to watch, I want to know, I want to do, or I want to buy. Right? And so all of these different types of psychological initiations or search intents for us to discover a product or service are making it right for us to create video ideas or topics around these kind of four main buckets. So how do I even create a YouTube ad sales funnel, Benjamin? I have nowhere to even begin. Well, I've actually got it listed out here in just 10 simple steps. That's right, 10 simple steps for you to create a YouTube ad sales funnel in 2021 that has an automated funnel for you to consistently get leads and sales time and time again, leveraging Google's machine learning technology and YouTube's number two search engine, number one video platform in the world. So these steps, we've got integrate Google Ads, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and YouTube as step one. Step two, complete keyword research through Google Keyword Planner, YouTube Autofill, and vidIQ. Step three, write your YouTube ad video script. Step four, collect video footage or shoot footage. Step five, edit YouTube video one to two times with your editors. Step six, create form or cart checkout conversion page for those conversions of people once they go from your YouTube ad to then becoming a customer or lead. 
Step seven, create YouTube in-stream leads, video campaigns in the Google Ads platform. Step eight, create different top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel value offers based upon where your audience is, if they're cold, warm, or hot, need specific valuers, value offers to drive those conversions into sales or converted leads. Step nine, create affinity keyword and placement audiences as more advanced campaigns. And step 10, optimize and scale. So these are the 10 simple steps. And we're gonna be walking through some of these as we go through the presentation. So one of the major things that I see for most companies missing the boat on YouTube ads right now is the initial keyword research, guys. Google Keyword Planner is a free tool. This is actually a picture from a Google Ads account. It's going to be for our company. And you can see if I am to go into tools and go to the Google Keyword Planner, we're working currently with a client that's in the solar space. And you can see one of their converting words that we already have in our account was related to solar power battery. Makes sense. People that might be looking for a solar power battery also might be looking to install solar power in their home as a energy savings and a cost effective solution to save money on their monthly energy bill. So we can actually put that information into the Google Keyword Planner and Google's going to spit back to us on Google. There are roughly around 2,400 people per month with a high competition that are either on the low end cost per click to be at the top of search results on Google a dollar and five cents or in the high end to be five dollars. Now, keep in mind, we always want to run ads where the marketplace is kind of telling us, hey, this is what people are searching for, right? We can see some other examples, right? Tesla Powerwall, boom, that's another big one. What's so insightful about this, guys, that people don't realize is whatever you think people are searching is a great start. You can obviously ask them, that's market research 101 through surveys and kind of doing focus groups, but Google Keyword Planner is giving us the Google search data. That is so valuable for us to understand exactly what people are typing in, how much per month are they typing that in, and then also how many advertisers are paying for that. Low, medium, and high, meaning high competition means there are more advertisers paying for that keyword. Why? Well, because it's leading to more purchases, sales, transactions, and leads. And we even have an estimate to understand what it's going to cost us to bid on that keyword to be the number one search result for people to click on our ad. So super insightful. This is where I start with every YouTube ads account. And I know that Google ads is not necessarily showing us the YouTube data, but it is showing us the Google ads data. Also keep in mind, Google owns YouTube guys. So if we're able to type in to YouTube, some of those similar things to Google, there is a correlation. Now they are different kind of search patterns, right? We do see a lot more how-to tutorial videos, product demonstration videos on YouTube versus Google. But keep in mind, people both go to Google and YouTube as the number two search engines in the world to solve their problems. So why wouldn't we wanna kind of piggyback off some of that Google data? Now, when we're kind of looking more into the YouTube kind of search volume, that's where we're gonna kind of go into our handy guys, vidIQ. If you haven't heard of vidIQ, we'll definitely link in this video below so that you can check them out. They have a pro version that we have just started working with this year. It's very affordable. It's actually $8 a month for them to come and tell us, if I take that same keyword, now I can see how much volume is being in there on YouTube. Not as much, right? But solar power, on the other hand, is 24,000 searches per month. So that actually is kind of standing out to me. So that's what we kind of do in our proprietary kind of keyword research process that we're developing at Global Social Media Marketing. We're always gonna start with a Google Keyword Planner analysis by taking 10 to 15 keywords and understanding what are the right types of phrases or types of variations that people would be typing in. And then we're gonna go kind of verify that with vidIQ. I'm not telling you that there is one all end all be all YouTube keyword research planner because there isn't right now. So the best way to do that in today's age is to use these multiple sources and not look at one source as the go-to correct source, but as a verification, right? The more data that we have, the better of a business decision we can make around the type of ad that we're creating and the type of things that our customers are looking to solve with their problems. So vidIQ is another great example. And 
Finally, another thing that we like to do is kind of take it a step further and actually go to YouTube and Google, guys, right? So if you go into YouTube, you'll see at the top of YouTube, this is what's called a YouTube autofill. When I type in solar power battery, because of the smart machine learning algorithms that YouTube and Google have, before I even press enter, it's already gonna go ahead and recommend some of those other keywords that are going to be available. So you can see things like solar powder, battery bank, solar power battery charger, solar power battery tender, solar battery bank for home, right? So it's actually giving those because it's telling us that based on what people have searched in the past, if you are going to continue to type, this is generally what people are typing at next. You can do that by typing that into Google autofill at the top of YouTube. Also, we can do that on Google, right? So you can see kind of some of the different variations that also shows us how different these platforms are. For example, maybe people on YouTube are thinking more about systems where people on Google are thinking more about banks. The final thing is if you scroll to the bottom of the first page of your Google search results, you'll see what's called searches related to your given keyword. And it will actually give you some other variations of things that are related to what you're searching. So we don't have to do all the hard work sometimes. Once we figure it out, maybe our prime 10 to 15 primary keywords based on what the marketplace is searching for, we're gonna type that into vidIQ, then we're gonna type that into Google and YouTube, see what autofills and see what's related, and then make a very kind of scientific way of looking at this to deliver the exact keywords that are gonna give us the best traction and opportunity to generate leads and sales for our business or e-commerce store. So what does a perfect YouTube ad video structure even look like? We showed you an example of the king with Nike crushing it. Well, here's some things, right? Funny enough, that ad was a minute and a half and you can kind of see our structure right here. This is another thing that I've seen from people like Alaric Heck and also Tom Breeze, right? We really wanna kind of draw people in at the beginning with a five second hook. A hook means something that is talking to a given person's problems or pain points and how we can maybe add value or benefit them with our ad. We want to think of our ads as almost its own product, guys. If I am watching your YouTube ad, do I get value and do I get benefit from it? Just watching the ad itself. If that happens, then I want to continue watching the ad or I want to click through to see what's on the other end. From there, I'm going to kind of go into like a 30 second big promise or explanation, right? So we kind of saw in that example with LeBron and Nike, he was kind of talking about the resiliency that athletes have and then another call to action, right? So call to action there could be something like go to the Nike store and buy our products or you know, make a donation to one of these athletes that's giving back, something like that. Then after that, we're gonna go into kind of maybe about a minute period of really narrowing down specifically why our brand is different and the benefits and results that we have done, right? So social proof, credentials, certifications, numbers, stories, that is this kind of 60 second spot. And then we're kind of closing at that last 90 seconds um, to have another call to action. And we're gonna have a very similar call to action that we had maybe at the 30 second mark or in the middle of the video, but we're also gonna kind of let people know that sense of urgency. So something like click on the link below now before this expire, you know, before this expires or for this offer before it goes away. Also think about this, guys, if you run a true view in stream ad, which we have briefly covered, if somebody watches the first 30 seconds of that video, they are then paying for that view and you're getting charged from an advertising perspective. However, if somebody watches only 29 seconds of your video, you are not paying for that view. And obviously if we're optimizing for leads, that's really what we care about, right? So some other kind of, you know, higher level things that I've learned from the YouTube ads master out there, Tom Breeze, he runs one of the world's largest YouTube ad agencies in the world, are two concepts. One is around schema violation. It's really just kind of letting people know like you're gonna do something expected, 
but related, right? We saw that example with LeBron kind of showing, you know, going through those struggles is leaving Cleveland and he's trying to build this team and he's coming back in history, right? That was unexpected. Then education, including a claim, a quick credibility and content, right? So things again, like, do you have referrals? Do you have testimonials? Do you have award winning of something? Is there something that can add some super credibility to educate, but also entertain the viewer on YouTube? So I want to show another example of a YouTube ad. This is an example of a YouTube ad for anybody out there that's selling a book or uh, ebook or any type of maybe potentially digital product. I know there's tons of those going out there now in the e-commerce space. Funny enough, we actually created a Amazon page to promote a ebook a paperback and an audiobook format of this so that we can offer a variety of options for consumers to buy our ebook. And we created a video to promote it. We we're actually able to make a sale with this video and it really touches on all of those different components that I just explained. So let's go ahead and walk through this video ad. What can $3.99 get you? One energy drink to grind your remote nine to five, three packs of ramen for dinner, one chicken sandwich from your favorite fast food restaurant? Sure, $3.99 can buy that. But what if $3.99 could grow over time to generate a passive income stream, diversify your services, and improve your quality of lead generation? What if, as an aspiring artist, $3.99 could get your music videos or short films viewed by hundreds of thousands of people? Wouldn't that be a better use of your $3.99? Over the past year, global social media marketing has been absolutely committed to YouTube. In every aspect of the video production process, we put our nose to the grindstone to learn about this behemoth of a 4 billion user platform. It's been a huge learning curve, but we've achieved astounding e-commerce sales results and top-ranked videos in YouTube search results, as shown in our numerous case studies. So we decided to pour all of our YouTube savvy knowledge into an informative, easy to read ebook that would save you years of time. Global Social Media Marketing presents How to Become a YouTuber, a channel growth guide. In our ebook, we break down YouTube channel growth into six chapters full of actionable strategies of information you can implement right away. Whether you want to create a passive income stream, need to learn how to write scripts, understand which video equipment to buy to use for creating your videos, grow your YouTube subscribers, or even get your video views in the hundreds of thousands. We give you proven strategies and creative frameworks with results so you can be successful on YouTube all on your own, just like our clients. And if going solo isn't for you, check out our services and see if we're the right fit to help you reach your YouTube goals or business objectives. Buy our ebook by clicking on the link below to our website, globalsocialmediamarketing.com to start growing your YouTube channel to infinity and beyond. Right. So as you can see, there's some cars and some end screens there at the end of the video. If you're not familiar with those, those are kind of some picture in picture things that are going to increase that viewership of our video. But in an ad format, right, that actually touches on all of those perfect YouTube ad structure things that I talked about. We gave you some numbers. We educated you. We grabbed your attention with a hook in the first five minutes. We talked about our credentials and benefits for social proof and with a very strong call to action. So you knew exactly what to do at the end of the video was to click the link below to buy the ebook on Amazon. So that was an example of a YouTube ad that we ran at the end of 2020 for the release of our new how to become a YouTuber ebook on Amazon. So what does this sales funnel kind of visually look like? I know it could be a little tough if this new for you. So I thought I would break it out um, some with some different platforms that we've been using here at Global Social Media Marketing over the last year, right? We really want to take somebody from a YouTube video ad, as we've shown, to a potential landing page. Examples of that could be something like Go High Level or WordPress, right? And then kind of then confirming that they've logged into their account or they've got to the thank you confirmation page, bringing them to a sales page. That could be something like Shopify or Amazon. Checking out, right, if we're using something like Thinkific or WooCommerce or Amazon, there's many ways to look at this, but generally you'll kind of see that approach is video ad to landing page to thank you page to sales page to checkout page to confirmation page 
for an e-commerce funnel. I am going to show another example here of what that looks like from an audience perspective, right? So when we're building this out, you want to kind of remember that people need to like, know, and trust your brand, right? So how are we going to do that is there's some different ways we can think about audiences. We want to kind of think of them as being aware, being interested, then considering our product or service, having the intent to buy it through search, evaluating it, and then purchasing it. You can see there's a number of different types of audiences that we can use on YouTube ads. We could use something like similar audiences that's targeting people that are new users with similar interests to your already existing website visitors. We could also create custom affinity audiences on YouTube where we're kind of playing into their interests or their habits, or maybe potentially some of the other websites that they might be visiting. Consideration might be something like intent, right? Do they have certain events? Are they in market actively searching maybe in Christmas or Black Friday for that special someone's Christmas gift? Or are they planning for something maybe later on down the road, like a vacation or a wedding? Also, if they have intent, right, we know that those are generally going to be better than many other social media platforms. That's the benefit of YouTube is that is a search intent based platform, right? People are going there to solve their problem. We're not interrupting them. It's actually delivering on that solution that they're looking for. Now, once they're evaluating, maybe they don't buy the first time. That's okay. Most people don't buy products the first time they you know, discover them. They're going to evaluate the price. They're going to look at other options. They're going to do their homework, surf the internet, and then maybe a remarketing campaign where we're showing a different ad experience to drive that conversion is going to finally convert them. Finally, if we do have a purchase and we've spent enough money on YouTube, there is an awesome feature that we can turn on that's for the more advanced YouTube ads people out there, which is called customer match, where we can actually upload a database file, CSV, Excel file of our existing customer base and match those to YouTube. I've also got some different numbers just to kind of show you like what you might be looking at from a cost. So you may pay as low as two cents potentially for a view and maybe upwards of $549 for a high ticket sale if you might be a consultant or something like that. In our case, this presentation is for e-commerce. So I would tell you that some of the sales that I've seen in e-commerce from last year are ranging anywhere roughly from about $5 to maybe about $30 per lead to even buy a $1,000 product. So think about the return on investment on that, guys. It's a no-brainer. And how do we get people down this funnel? They have to know, like, and trust us. And they have to start with low and trust and get that trust to actually want to buy our product. Now, let's say we were doing a webinar sales funnel. That's something that we saw explode in 2020, right? Because of the inability to meet with people and network at in-person events now, a lot of people are selling e-commerce products via webinars. Think of it as the now modern day QVC channel. Any Shark Tank fans out there know that Lori is always selling the QVC network and you know I have this television and I can show Webinars do the same thing, guys. We could literally have kind of like a webinar or a panel and be selling in that video. Funny thing is, too, is that we can actually live stream those webinars as well, or we can turn them into instant replays. Think of webinars as a great approach to going more in-depth topic about your given product or potentially allowing your customers or prospects to engage with you to handle any of those concerns in that webinar to buy your product. That's super powerful, right? So I've given you some examples here in this kind of diagram of some different tools that we've used, things such as YouTube video, Google ads, Google analytics, WordPress, developing landing pages with things such as WordPress and Go High Level, Zapier for automated integrations, Twilio, and Gmail for sending, nurturing, and email campaigns, and leveraging Zoom, Elementor, and PayPal to live stream those webinars and collect payments so that those turn into transactions, right? So another thing to remember when we're setting up this massive opportunity on YouTube is that we need to have tracking in place for our e-commerce sales phone. And how do we do that? Well, there's a number of different platforms out there. Really, you just need to know that Google Ads and Google Analytics, as well as Google Tag Manager are really the three main accounts. 
On this slide, I'm showing an example of some things that we've done in Google Ads. It's just adding conversion action, right? When you know that somebody is purchased, that is a conversion. Or when someone has filled out a form to log into their account, potentially, that is a conversion. And so we're gonna place those conversion tags on the correct pages that we wanna track. Google Tag Manager is also another option to kind of hold all of those different conversions. If we wanna get more granular, things like wondering if somebody watches a video on our landing page or if somebody clicks on that button to buy now or book or sign up, right? We can track those kind of micro conversions to see how people pass from one point of the funnel to the second step to the third step. So these are some of those platforms in order to do that tracking. Now, we talked about a number of different ways that you can target, right? Anything from age, gender, location, device, time of day, household income, parental status, similar audiences, channel placements, keywords, topics, video places, in-market audience, website. Oh my goodness, Benjamin, that's a lot of information, right? That's the superpower that is YouTube. I can target so many different ways. I can target by maybe people that are window shoppers, in-store shoppers, or checkout shoppers, as Tom Breeze likes to call it. Maybe people that are interested, maybe people that are researching and reviewing, or maybe those people that are ready to buy. And we kind of showed that diagram earlier that people need to, again, know, like, and trust our brands. And so I kind of like to think of this almost as like a seasonal type of thing, right? Where it's like, hey, they're cold to begin with, and then they kind of warm up in the spring. And then when they get to the summer, they are hot, like ATL, hot. And then they're super hot by the time fall comes and we're kind of changing in the season. So you want to just kind of think about it as people don't know your business in the beginning. They're cold. As they warm up, they've engaged with you, either visiting your website, watching your content, uh, reaching out to hotter audience of those people that actually have maybe gone to the website or they've asked you for information, they've had a phone call and email, but they didn't convert for whatever reason. And then super hot are those existing customers who you want to retain and drive other additional upsells or increase their lifetime customer value. So this is kind of how you want to think about the different types of targeting that you have, as well as the different types of ads that you might want to create. Now, for all of my YouTube ads experts out there, you might have heard of something called sequence video marketing. That is a more advanced approach where you can create different videos based upon where the consumer is in the buyer journey cycle. For all my beginner level YouTubers out there, I know we got a lot of tech guys out there, but maybe you haven't gone this in depth yet. We can talk about those things and we'll be sure to link in the bottom of this video below to more information about video sequences. So here's an example of a campaign. If we were going to set it up right, you can see, for example, if we're running a keywords campaign, we're putting in those keywords that we've done our homework with on the keyword research, YouTube autofill, Google autofill, Google related search, and vidIQ for verification. We're going to be running these on across a specific network, right? So the YouTube videos, we're going to set a start and an end date with a daily budget, as well as the locations that we want to target, right? And maybe we want to exclude a specific country if we're not kind of optimizing in that country and then we're going to actually tell YouTube to do the hard work for us and make sure that we are maximizing for conversions right we're not trying to optimize for views or subscribers we're actually trying to get leads or sales for our business we might also set our languages and also if we know that more people are watching our videos on the actual platform via their mobile device versus a computer, you might want to optimize for those, came, those, those channels, right? So fun fact right here is that there is actually 70% of all people that are watching YouTube videos are actually watching on their mobile phones, believe it or not, right? So for that reason, we definitely want to make sure when we're setting up our funnel that we have double triple checked, quadruple checked our mobile devices sales funnel to make sure that it is showing properly on a mobile device. So you can kind of look at this as kind of the 
three successful campaign structures that we at Global Social Media Marketing are finding from 2020 as we go into 2021 to start the year. These are some of the different things, right? So you can kind of see again those stacks, right, of YouTube, YouTube retargeting, shopping and generic search, and website retargeting or branding. But really when I think about the three campaigns that we had a lot of success with, it's really around keyword search intent, placing our video ads on other placements of videos or channels or niche videos, things like that, and then trending videos, right? You can also see that we can run our ads based on people's household income, Google search history, or potentially our competitors' vid videos or websites, guys. So when you think about the opportunities to run smart campaigns, this is what I like to look at for our company as being successful in running variations of these types of ad campaigns. So what are other benefits of creating your YouTube ads? Well, it actually helps you increase your current subscribers and reach new people to grow your channel, right? We know that because there are over 6 billion videos being uploaded on YouTube every day, we cannot expect every video we create or every ad we create to rank in search results. Therefore, kind of giving it that ad promotion is gonna kind of put the rocket boosters so that it can take off and launch into space. Now, we can also make money with YouTube ads, right? So if we have an ad that takes off or starts to rank and we have met the channel requirements to be a YouTube partner, we can actually make money from that. Another thing I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers do now is they're making a ton of money from affiliate marketing. I had mentioned that some of the top videos out there are things like comedy, humor, product demonstrations, how-to tutorial videos. Well, if you're gonna be showing a how-to on your given product, or your e-commerce store where you're featuring different products, you might want to include affiliate marketing links to partners to promote your products on their videos or ads. And then we can also position for future free gear and sponsorships. There are advanced features as you go into that to actually allow people to subscribe to your YouTube channel in a paid monthly subscription for additional benefits. So you are be asking yourselves like, how did Benjamin even get all of this knowledge? Well, as I mentioned, I've gone through a number of learnings. I've written an ebook and I've got some credentials and certifications per Google and YouTube ads that allow me to say why you should be trusting this presentation, the information I'm providing. As I mentioned, I have our ebook. If you want to go check it out on Amazon, it's readily available on all the different platforms from an ebook to a paperback, to Kindle, to audiobook. We tried to make it really just 10 years of all knowledge condensed down into an ebook that you can probably read or listen to in two and a half hours. So if you need more learning resources, definitely check that out. I've got it linked. We'll be sure to link in the bottom of the description of this video. And if you want to grow your business with YouTube in 2020 to 2021, I want you to go ahead and reach out to me. My email is benjamin.kepner at globalsocialmediamarketing.com. I know it's the longest email ever, but hopefully you won't forget it. And I thought I'd close the presentation yet again with another YouTube ad that we have created to generate leads for our business. And it actually is talking about our YouTube strategy call that we were selling last year. We were able to sell 10 of these. Some people actually closed from watching this video. I know this presentation is around e-commerce, but I wanted to show another example for anyone that might have stuck through and be selling a service or high ticket sales offer. And this is that video. So I hope you enjoy this last YouTube ad video. Days are getting darker. But our YouTube department wants to be the guiding light that helps you through this new normal. We've created Game Changer YouTube video ads in 2020 for a variety of small businesses to help them shine. But the YouTube strategy call with me, Benjamin Kepler, CEO of Global Social Media Marketing, to learn how to get sales with YouTube ads. Working with our YouTube experts and proven systems, you too can sparkle with qualified leads for less than $10 per lead that are searching to buy your product or service on the number two search engine in the world. YouTube, YouTube ads are a cost-effective solution in your marketing budget to reach new customers with search intent and better connect with them through videos that drive emotional storytelling. How does an extra $25,000 in revenue for your business per month 
sound with our proven YouTube marketing services. We're getting results like these with our current clients. What? If you're not sure where to start with YouTube to grow, click the link below to book a call to learn how to write a YouTube ad video script framework in doing your initial keyword research and then receive our YouTube marketing course for free of 32 YouTube tutorial videos that I've created in the last two years on all the strategies and tactics we've tested to grow YouTube channels across the world. We know that some businesses need hope and bottom line results now to adapt to different and emerging buyer behaviors this year. We can get your YouTube videos free views on your top competitors' websites and YouTube channels. Also, do you know that Google Video Ads only charges you when someone clicks on your ad, meaning that you could get free video views with your target audience? with Google Video Instrument Ads. In 2020, we've created a YouTube ebook, YouTube marketing course, and 20 blog articles on how to quickly teach you ways to get new customers for free. Or if you want a customized approach to YouTube to grow your business, let us do it for you. Reap the benefits of working with our CEO and YouTube department. They have over 10 years of experience driving targeted traffic to websites. We have billions of searches on the number two search engine in the world. YouTube. It's a great time to take advantage of YouTube advertising with less competition to grow your business. Work with a Google for Education certified trainer who spent the last two years earning 34 digital marketing certifications. Schedule a call to make it rain Benjamin. Seriously, our CEO's name is Benjamin and he's all about getting the Benjamins you need to make bank. I mean, look around. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere. We live and breathe. YouTube. So let us help you and let global be the light at the end of your tunnel. Right. So that is the ending of my presentation. I want to thank all of the people at Gautech for allowing me to present. And I hope that this recording will be shared with the audience. I'm looking forward to giving a better and bigger presentation in May. For anyone out there that is still questioning if YouTube ads is right for them or if you can grow your business via e-commerce with YouTube, I hope that this presentation has left a lasting impression on you for you to understand that YouTube is here to play and you should go all in. As Sean Connell says, like to say, you are building an empire to actually get views as you snooze. So with that, I will leave it. If you have any questions or you're looking to expand your business on YouTube for e-commerce, please do reach out to me on my email. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more YouTube ads tips on how to grow your business with YouTube ads. Thanks so much, guys. Take care and here's to a optimistic and positive 2021. Only good vibes at Global. Take care, guys.